Okay, so we've created a menu in WordPress.com. Now, uh, when we looked at it in our previous video, we see they're just sort of a mishmash of links up here, uh, kind of messy. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make that sort of a little bit more functional. So we're going to go back to Appearance and Menus. Now here's where this is really powerful. That it's so sort of drag and drop in creating these menus. We've got home, office hours, all these things. Now we can take things and move them around. Let's say I wanted the about at the bottom. I just click and drag. I want office hours down here. Click and drag. And then I'm actually going to have my link, uh, the link at the end. Now, again, I want tech reviews maybe next because that's what the site's all about. Now, under tech reviews, this is the really great thing. You can actually do nested menus. So what I can do is by clicking on apps I, and dragging it this way a little bit, you can see how it indents it. And I want books under that, under these tech reviews, because let's say there's a tech review for apps, books, gadgets, uh, and videos, we'll say. Now we'll leave videos out because maybe that's not a review. Same thing about this. I've got about, so it'd be about me or about whatever. And then I want the office hours as a drop down, as a sort of nested um, link. Again, I have to hit save. And then I come back over to the site. And as you can see, you now have these are nested and it looks like I missed one so I'm going to go back and go to my menu and I actually think I am going to put videos inside there so now they're all in there I'm going to hit save make sure it's done it's saving go, on, go back to the site and now when I look at this, the menu's a lot neater looking. Home, of course, brings me to where my, all my main blog posts are. Tech reviews, now if I go here, it drops down to these. About, same thing with office hours, brings me to uh, the office hours, or if I just click on about, it brings me to the about page. Or I can go home. Now, if you noticed, this new, uh, like, new this week Apple app for runners some copy. Now it's posted in, so these are its categories. I checked it for apps, gadgets, and tech reviews. Uh, and I did this, uh, of course, in, I'm going to go back to the dashboard for a second, go to this post, show all posts. And if I do an edit of this, this post, if you look over in categories, those are the ones I checked. So now let's go back to the, um, the main site. So now you notice that's where they are. So now we can easily find these if we look under tech reviews. If I were to go to apps, drop down, it shows up there. It would also show up in the gadgets page, category page, which is basically what this is, a category page, and in the main tech reviews page if I clicked on the main page. Um, this way now, whenever you create a new category, you can then put that category in your menu. So let's say as your site uh, progresses, you decide you're going to do more reviews on different types of devices. You can then create a new category for that device. Maybe you're going to do stuff on uh, thing, things about mobile, um, mobile things. You can do that, and then when you come over here, you can add that into your um, menu. the categories, view all, uh, add to menu, it would put it down here, you drop it in under there, save that, go back to the site, under tech reviews, there it is, it listed. So you can sort of just keep building and building on your menu structure by doing that. Categories, pages, all in this nice simple menu. Uh, WordPress has really made it simple for us to make great menus.